if you kind of look at how all of these programs started, so these are professional programs. So Doctorate of Education, um, so um, ED, EDD, and uh, DBA, Doctorate of Business Administration, they tend to be uh, professional programs. Now, there are some schools around the world that that might be their academic program. So um, Harvard has, uh, you know, a DBA program, and it's just, it's their academic program. Um, but really, for most, for a lot of programs around the world, they tend to be a lot more professional oriented. And the reason why that is the case is that um, a lot of schools recognize that there was a demand for professional education, right? So there is not everybody who wants to get a terminal degree. So that's what we call these sort of doctorate degrees is a terminal degree. Not everybody wants to go and become an academic and actually do research. So that's the key thing that you're being trained with a um, with a PhD is that you're being trained to do research, whatever that looks like, right? So what is research? That is um, reading, writing, and arithmetic, and that's your, your job is to um, sit there and um, just be an academic, right? So think of new ideas and write them down and sort of analyze the world and do all that, that kind of stuff. Now, there's a lot more to it, um, but that's the basic gist of it. So professional programs tend to be oriented towards people that want to go and um, do sort of management roles or they just want to strictly teach or something along those lines. Uh, so that's the key thing to think about. And um, schools around the world, they're beginning to really realize that, you know, that, that this is a viable alternative. There's lots of people that get an MBA, for example, or maybe they get an education degree and then they realize they want to go back to school. And so there's, you know, there's this kind of slot of people that want to go and get a terminal degree, but there's not really a good sort of fit for them. And so schools have recognized that, you know, that this is a revenue source, you know, schools are businesses, um, institutions, universities are businesses, if you didn't know that. And they recognize that this is a revenue source. So they started opening it up and offering that particular opportunity. There's nothing wrong with that. It just means that there's an opportunity and people are willing to pay for that particular opportunity to, to do something with that, right? So that's all they're doing is recognizing that there is a need in the marketplace and the university is just opening it up to a lot of people. So in terms of the differences of what you'd expect with a um, EDD and a DBA and a PhD, um, the key thing is you wanna look at outcomes and where they're gonna go in terms of the career paths that you're gonna go. So professional programs like the EDD and the um, DBA, they're gonna go and do sort of per more professional things, right? So the um, EDD, the um, and I, I, I must sort of uh, point out at this moment, I have, um, you know, several friends that, that did this degree and it's a wonderful degree. And I, I, there's no way that I ever see that this, this is like the not the right way to go or the PhD is the right way to go or anything like that. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying that there's different sort of goals and um, outcomes that you get with these particular paths, right? And it's up to you to make that decision. It's up to you to sort of think through this, right? So the um, the professional the professional doctorate of education. What you're going to do is probably go into some sort of administrative role, and maybe it is yeah, probably not so much in an elementary school. Sometimes you do that at some really um, you know sophisticated um, um, you know elementary schools. My kids go to a charter school, and it's affiliated with the university that I work at. So there are a few people that have that particular degree, right? It just kind of makes sense for them to go into that because that's that's affiliated with a, a research school. Now, um, the DBA is going to be a lot more focused on you going. Oh, and the uh, sorry, the the um, the EDD, the the you know doctorate of, of business or doctorate of education. You're going to end up mostly probably working in a university. That's going to be really common in terms of what you're doing. But the DBA. Um, what you're likely going to be doing is, and, and I'm talking about a professional one again, what you're likely going to be doing is uh, either teaching at a, at a school, at a, at a university, or going and, you know, extending your getting a terminal degree so that you can go and apply this into the working world, right? So you're a consultant, for example, you got an MBA, and you're thinking of getting a doctorate to go back into consulting and, and use that, that knowledge somehow in the consulting world. So that's what you're looking at, right? So they tend not to go into um, more research careers, and that's typically what you would do with a PhD. And, and I'm not like, 
I'm not really carving this out. It's all really muddy. You have to, uh, you have to realize that everything is really muddy. And some people will sort of be the exception and all that kind of stuff, right? So, but and, and a lot of people will do a PhD and they realize that they don't sort of want to go in the research direction and then they go into administrative roles. And, and that's totally normal. It's not, I'm not sort of framing anybody in any particular direction. I'm just sort of saying these are kind of what the norms are. Um, so the people tend to be, so this is the second thing I want to point out is that the people tend to be a little bit different in terms of these particular programs. And um, the reason is with a PhD, it's an academic degree, so you're just gonna go and work through the system, right? So you're gonna be an undergrad, then a master's student, then a P, um, you know, doctorate student, you're just kind of climbing up through that. So you can be a little bit younger, you're gonna be really um, a lot more research focused in terms of what you wanna go do. Uh, maybe you're going to wanna become a professor, maybe you wanna go work in a research institute. Um, but with these professional programs, so uh, EDD, uh, uh, for example, you, uh, you, you tend to be maybe you're an older student and you wanted to go back and, you know, you're already well experienced and you just want to work in an administrative role in a university. And this is a nice way to do that. Right. So you might end up taking a couple of courses. Um, along the way to build up and get your doctorate and terminal degree so you can get, uh, you know, a better role in a university. And lots of people do that. And, um, you know, the, the, the folks that I know, that, that's what they tended to do. And, and it was really good for them. It worked out in their favor uh, in terms of the roles, in terms of advancing with what they're doing. Um, uh, so the other thing that you should um, consider, so this is the third thing to consider that I think is really important, and there's going to be vast differences between them, is the costs, right? So um, some of the DBA programs are going to be really expensive, um, and that's because, I mean, you just got to look at the clientele, right? So they're recruiting from people that maybe they are already a management consultant, so they have pretty good salaries um, and they're looking to leverage this. Or maybe that they are an executive someplace and they're looking to leverage your career. Um, and so they're gonna charge a little bit more for that. And they tend to be, um, you know, there's there's a wide variety of them, but you know, they tend to be from, uh, you know, private institutions and things like that that are looking for a revenue source. And lots of schools are actually going in that direction. So it's not kind of a, a crazy thing in any sort of way. Um, the cost for the, you know, the, the education programs tend to be a little less, and that's just because of the, the clientele in terms of the, the students that are going to be going to that. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong in any sort of way. I'm just sort of pointing that out if you just kind of look at, um, you know, who's going to, to where and stuff like that. Um, and then, uh, you know, finally, the, the PhD program, often you'll end up getting paid if you're doing a PhD program. And the reason is, is you're getting a stipend. And then you go and do research for the university and, you know, there's different, you know, from the federal government or from the provincial or, you know, from the state governments they are going to give money for people to do research and do knowledge discovery and search and things like that. Right. So go in that route um, and then you're going to get paid for that. So you're kind of an employee of a university. It's going to be a different sort of thing. Um, you know, it's going to be. It's just a different, completely different track in terms of, um, you know, in terms of getting paid and what you're going to be doing in the long run. So that's one thing to consider that, that there's going to be vast differences between them. And you have to really look at that and highly, highly recommend for you to look at that. I'm not saying one way is better than the other. I'm just saying just go and look at that and, um, you know, just be well aware that there is differences and there's vast differences between all the different programs around, you know, the, the country around the world in terms of where these um, where these things rank. And even within PhD programs, for example, some schools get really good stipends, other ones don't. Um, you know, even DBA programs, same thing, wide variances. So just really look at that and and um, just know what you're you're going to get, right? And you're making a trade off in terms of what it's going to cost, and hopefully you're making the value that you're gaining from that is actually going to be worth the cost of what the particular program is, right? And if it doesn't work out in that way, then don't go to those programs, right? It's gonna be really expensive for you in the long run. And, um, you know, there, there's, you can watch a bunch of my other videos where I talk about some of this stuff. Uh, so in terms of the difference between the um, EDD, the, uh, um, you know, Doctorate of Education and, and uh, a DBA, in a doctorate of business, what you're basically looking at is that you're gonna go into different um, trajectories in terms of what your careers are gonna be, right? So the uh, doctorate of 
of education, you're probably going to be in higher education of some sort, right? So at a university. In a DBA, you have just a little bit more leeway in terms of where you can go and what you can do. It's not as, um, you know, from, and, and this is all just kind of, <laughs> um, you know, an insider sort of view and stuff like that. I'm not, you know, saying that this is, this is the concrete deal and that you should take my word for it. Um, but, you know, it, it just is, is not as sort of widely, um, you know, not as many people have it. And so it is going to be sort of like less recognized. And whenever you have that, then you end up having sort of legitimacy things that are going on, right? So um, you might come across that whenever you are doing a program like that, that there's going to be sort of legitimacy concerns. And that's just simply because there's just not that, there's less of that particular category, right? So there's a whole research on sociology that talks about this kind of stuff. But basically that's what we're looking at is that there's just, you know, fewer of them. So people just are not as well aware of them. And so that's one thing that you should consider in terms of what you're going to go into, particularly when you go into industry, right? So people are going to say, you know, you, you have a doctorate, but then we don't really, they can't really place you in terms of what you're doing in terms of an MBA. People really know where you should be placed, right? Because it's really easy because there's lots of other people that have MBAs or an, a bachelor's degree, for example. And that's just kind of uniformly, and that's a problem that happens with all terminal degrees. People just kind of don't really get what a terminal degree is in general and what you do and where it should be, you know, what's valuable with them and stuff like that. So you just have to explain it. Just, just recognize that's going to happen. Uh, no matter what particular degree that you're going to go into or, or do, but you know, the um, doctorate of education, you probably, it's, it's, you know, people get that a little bit more in, in terms of that area because you're going into higher education and you do see a little bit more people with that. But, you know, in general, um, you know, it's, it's a choice that you have to make. I'm not sort of pointing out in terms of what you should do, but you really have to sort of be true to yourself and what you want to do and where you want to go in the future and make that decision and just weigh the costs and make sure you really do that because there's vast differences. Again, I'm going to stress that vast differences in the costs of them. Um, and it could cost you a lot of money to go into one and, and not have any particular career outcomes from that. So just be well aware of that going into it.